Vincent van Gogh is one of the most recognizable artists known today. However, things did not start that way. Born in Holland in 1853, to a minister, Vincent was raised in a very religious household. He followed the trade of his uncle as an art dealer, and upon growing tired of the business of art, returned home and went into the study of theology, even working as a missionary in a coal mining town. Then in 1880, at the age of 27, he entered the Académie Royale des Beaux Arts in Brussels, Belgium. The following summer, he fell in love, and his heart was broken, and began to paint. In this podcast, I would like to explore some of his paintings as his work developed over the years. Farmhouse Among Trees, 1883. A simple image of a farmhouse set against trees in the grip of winter. There is a hint of a blue sky in the background. However, that cheery light does not touch the farmhouse. The dreary farmhouse with its trees supports no life, giving a feeling of cold and inactivity. Also take note of the lack of movement in the painting strokes that Vincent van Gogh was famous for. Much like a farmhouse in winter, it seems to be it seems to me that the depression of the work says something to the frame of mind of the artist. The question I would love to ask Vincent is, was the lack of his painting technique just due to it not being in being in his arsenal now, or did he see the world different during the period of which this piece was created? Head of a peasant woman in a white cap, March 1885. Again, a simple image done in dark tones that, in my opinion, shows the emotional state of both the artist and subject. This piece is one of the darker ones that I've seen um, for Van Gogh, yet it is so full of emotion. The use of color and the heavy-handed brushstrokes add great depth and feeling to the image. Looking to the eyes of the subject, you can see the fear she must be feeling as a peasant sitting for this painting, and the fear of hardship of her bleak life. I wonder if Vincent shared any of his subject's feelings at this time as he painted her. Autumn Landscape at Dusk, November 1885. While still a very dark piece in terms of hue, there is more color and life present in the piece giving it more warmth. We are starting to see more movement in the brush strokes in the sky and fields giving it more movement and life. The color of the fading sunlight and the darker yet warmer colors in use give the feeling of an early autumn evening when the nights are not yet cold and, the sense of the, and get a sense of the world trying to claim a few more good days before the winter falls upon the land. It strikes me as if time is holding its breath, holding on to a quiet, peaceful evening worth remembering. Self-Portrait in Dark Felt Hat, Spring, 1886. While this painting was completed in the spring, the world around him does not seem to have any effect on his self-portrait. The use of colors is again dark with some warmer earth tones with the oranges, showing his use of composition using colors in more than one place to give the feeling of balance and presentation. Presentation. Looking at the subject and the fact that it is a painting of himself, it shows a great deal about the way he saw himself. The man does not seem to like himself, but is learning to accept himself. The coat and hat make it seem more formal and serious, again showing how he saw himself at this time. Also notice the use of crosshatch brush strokes, giving the painting a texture without adding any movement or added emotion. I see a man I would like to know more about and maybe help lighten his load in the world as well. Cole Barges, August 1888. In this painting, that could very well draw some of its inspiration from his own past, we see an explosion of color across the sky. The workers and the city in the distance are done in black and gray tones with very choppy brush strokes, giving them a feeling of being dirty and easily overlooked, almost like he was trying to forget his past. Yet with these darker and dreary figures, we see a riot of color explode across the sky. With its vibrant tones and heavy erratic brush strokes giving the sky movement, we also see with the color green that things are slightly off as well. Also, the more muted reflection of the sky and the water, we can also get a slight impression that the past is still affecting the present. The Cafe Terrace on the Place du Forum, Arles, at night, September 1888. The contrast of the dark coloring of full night with the vibrant colors of the cafe give this painting a sense of warmth and excitement. The stylized heavy brush strokes keep the eye focused on the cafe and give the night a stillness of full dark. The perspective of the viewer standing looking at the vibrant and inviting cafe yet not approaching make me wonder if Vincent Van Gogh saw the life around him yet was still apart from that world. 
I can understand how I might have felt that way, owing to the fact that his work was not well received in his life, almost like the way he saw the world was so complicated for the per people of his time to understand, thus he remained on the outside never quite fitting in. If only Vincent van Gogh could understand the way his work would affect the world for many years to come since his passing, that his work would move the hearts and souls of man, such as one of his most well-known works, Starry Night, has done. If only he knew the mighty fortunes that would be spent for the stewardship of his life's work, for the canvas can be, be owned, but the art belongs to the world. His gift to the world far surpasses the te techniques he used to put paint on canvas. No, the true gifts are the feeling his works stir in the hearts of humanity for the worlds to come. Good night, sweet king of art.